hardest. Have you been struggling with integers? Try thinking of integers as a team of heroes and villains. The heroes have positive powers and the villains have negative powers. The same way, integers are simply made up of positive numbers and negative numbers. There are no fractions or decimals. Do you know that zero is also an integer? Now that you understand the main idea of integers are, I should tell you that they're infinite. In other words, the number will go on and on forever. That's why writing integers down in a number line helps compare the two values. Usually, these integers are represented or shown on a number line. Now, just to make sure we are all on the same page, a number line is a line that continues left and right forever with numbers represented as points on it. We represent integers on a number line to compare their value. Imagine a big line drawn outside your superhero headquarters. This line has a zero in the middle. Positive numbers move to the right towards the price, where negative numbers move to the left towards the villain's hideout. All integers can be presented on the number line in this order. The further to the right, the larger the integer. The further to the left, the smaller the integer. Here is a quick test to see if you get it, which of the following are not integers. That's right. A, C and E are all non-integers. Great job if you got it. Now that we know, integers are whole numbers that are positive and negative, including the number zero. We also want you to learn that we can divide integers further into odd and even numbers, starting with odd numbers. Odd numbers are all integers that are not divisible by two. They can be both positive and negative, for example. Negative three, negative one, one, three, five, and seven. Even numbers are all integers that are divisible by two. They can be positive, negative, or zero. For example, negative four, negative two, zero, two, four, six, and eight. Remember, the list goes on and on. If you want to quickly find out if a number is odd or even, you can tell it by its single digit number. All numbers that end with one, three, five, seven, and nine are odd. Therefore, all numbers that end with zero, two, four, six, and eight are even. Here is the super tip of the day. Odd plus odd equals even. Even plus even equals even. Odd plus even equals odd. Odd times odd equals odd. Odd times even equals even. Even times even equals even. Knowing this can come in handy when you learn more about number theory. Now that we have wrapped up the basics of integers, you should be able to Number one, give examples of and tell the difference between integers, whole numbers, negative numbers, natural numbers and zero. Number two, draw a number line correctly and use it to compare the values of different integers. Number three, calculate integers. In the super tip of the day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help us reach 1 million subscribers. Thank you.